It's day three as we count up the 24 days to Christmas, and it's time to open the third door of our video advent calendar. On day one, we heard the beginning of the Christmas story, and yesterday, Jeanette Harris shared a beautiful Christmas song with us. Today, we hear the next part of the story, and tomorrow, there will be another surprise gift just for you. All of us from our Sunday Night Alive community, members of our Lutheran Church Salem, our Luther Baptocostal Sister Church Genesis Gospel Cafe, our favorite Jamaican Pentecostal Church New Direction Ministries, and friends from many other places are excited to bring this video Advent calendar to you. Each day when you open the door, know that along with the gift or the story inside is something far greater. The promise that the God of all creation comes to you in the person of Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May you be blessed this day and always. We've opened up door one. We've opened up door two. And now it's time to open up door three. And time to see what's behind door three on our video advent calendar. Have fun. I hope you like it. Day three, the birth of John foretold. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter one. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah, who belonged to the priestly order of Abijah. His wife was a descendant of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both of them were righteous before God, living blamelessly according to all the commandments and regulations of the Lord. But they had no children, because Elizabeth was barren, and both were getting on in years. Once when he was serving as priest before God, and his section was on duty, he was chosen by lot, according to the custom of the priesthood, to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and offer incense. Now at the time of the incense offering, the whole assembly of the people were praying outside. But then appeared to him an angel of the Lord, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified, and fear overwhelmed him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. For your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. You will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at, her, at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must never drink wine or strong drink. Even before his birth, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. He will turn many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. With the spirit and power of Elijah, he will go before him to turn the hearts of parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah said to the angel, how will I know that this is so? For I am an old man and my wife is getting on in years. The angel replied, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. But now, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time, you will become mute, unable to speak, until the day these things occur. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondered at his delay in the sanctuary. When he did come out, he could not speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He kept motioning to them and remained unable to speak. When his time of service was ended, he went to his home. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months she remained in seclusion. She said, this is what the Lord has done for me when he looked favorably on me and took away the disgrace I have endured among my people. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you tomorrow.